Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today I would just like to share with you um, my process on what I'm going to do to these collage papers. Now this video is inspired by Joanne at Junk Journal Treasures. She's always doing collage and I love her collage. She makes it look so easy. So I have this roll of paper it, it's a, a lightweight cardstock and I don't know if you can tell how long that is but it's about well let's take out the ruler there's 12 so it's about 15 inches long now it was twice this long but I actually cut it in half with a hand saw to make it easier and there is quite a bit on there and I wanted to start using it up so I'm using that as the base of my collage pages I'm not going to show you the collage part because I just ripped up paper and glued it down I was watching a good movie and I just went to town to put it on I actually used this mat Mod Podge. I don't like Mod Podge and I don't normally use it, but somebody gave this to me and I wanted to use it up. So what I did was I put it in one of these Sugar Bell bottles and I put it on like glue. And I know it is a glue and it worked great for doing it this way. So I'm just going to flip this over and then see the, that backing paper here. So they are weird sizes and whatnot, but I did the collaging part because it can be very time consuming. Mind you, I did five big sheets, I think it was, in just a couple hours, and I mostly used um, misprints of digitals, book pages, music papers, just whatever happened to be in my cupboard. So this one here is like really big. It's like probably two feet long. But I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do to the front of mine. And I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that it turns out good. So I've got a tray here. I've got just a little makeup sponge. Because I'm going to put some gesso on the front just with this sponge because I don't want it all over I just want it um, here and there and I want to be able to see through it easy so I'm just going to dump a little bit onto there and I better grab a paper towel before I get started because I'm going to need it I think Okay, so, put my lid back on the gesso. Kind of get myself set up. Hope that I'm in frame. So I just put a little bit of gesso on my sponge and I'm just gonna dab it like so. And I'm going to keep doing that Maybe places that are a little brighter than I would like. I might put more on it. I'm just going to get my my uh, book thing here so I can dab on the edges without getting it on my desk. And I'm just going to do that anywhere that I happen to want it. So you can see on there there's a good with it darker. I just want the blotches on it. Um, I figure it's going to pick up the paint and whatnot that I plan on putting on top of it. Uh, I'm hoping it'll give it different effects is what I'm hoping. 
with the gesso and not having gesso on some of the areas. I don't want to be too picky. Usually I, I get too picky on the things that I make and it takes forever. And Yeah, I'm trying to do more flying by the seat of my pants stuff for the journals. So it doesn't really take too long to do this part, I don't think. It's going to take me a while because I'm going to do all four of them. And, but I'll do the rest of those off camera. I'm just going to do this one on camera for you. But just, and you could put this on, you could paint it on, you could do... You could put it on any way you wanted. I just thought sponging it would give it a nice blotchy look, which is what I wanted. I will leave a link to Joanne's channel so you can check out all of her collage. And I'm probably going to like cut this up for tags and whatnot. So there is that one. That's what I'm going to do for the gesso. Now, once it dries, I want to spray it. I've got some fabric sprays that I've just made out of Ritz dyes, which I'm going to spray on there, as well as some diluted glimmer mist and stuff. So we're going to see how that does. So I'll do the other sheets off camera. And then when I'm ready to do some spraying, I will turn the camera back on and show you what I'm doing there and we will go from there see you in a few okay so here I am outside to do the spraying of the papers um, hopefully it's not too noisy and I'm holding my camera so hopefully I can keep it fairly steady so I have a bunch of alcohol, not um, shimmer mist and fabric dyes here. I've got some pinks, greens, blues, etc. So I'm just going to take, this is a pink, this is actually an Easter egg dye. I'm just going to, just to give it a little bit of color. If there's some dots that end up on there and whatnot. I'm okay with all that. And then this is diluted sh shimmer mist. Give it a little shake. Ooh, that's really bright. Okay, that's a little brighter than I was thought it would be, but I should have known. But that's okay. That one's going to have a nice pink shine to it. And once it's cut up into little pieces, and right here in this spot here, do a little bit of close-up. You can see that you can see where the gesso was put. Because it's absorbed differently, and that's what I was hoping for. So there is that one. And this is going to be, this is a denim um, fabric paint, or um, fabric dye. It doesn't really look very blue in the camera, but it actually is. I like how it's kind of going on blotchy, which I like. And now for this one, I have some blue diluted mist. So let's, and again, Oh, no, it's broken. Okay, let's try some of the turquoise on there. Okay, let's see. Sorry that my arm keeps getting in the way. So now we have that, which looks pretty cool. And now we've got another one. So let's use some of the brown. This might give it a little bit more of a tea dyed 
effect. So far, I don't mind how this is all turning out. Let's try some gold and the Tattered Angel's Shimmer Mist. And let's try some green Tattered Angel's on there as well. Shake it up a little bit. Okay. And here's that really big piece that I had. So I think... Let's do some turquoise on there. This is um, the fabric dye, this one. It just kind of gives that hint of color. Let's do a little bit of the turquoise. And I'm going to hold it far away because I just want a little bit of it. And let's try some green shimmer mist as well. And the same thing, I'm going to do it at a bit of a distance. Okay. Kind of drooping over the edge of my page. And let's try some of this pinkish shimmer mist. And same thing, I'm going to hold it far away. Hopefully that's showing up. This actually looks pretty cool. Just with the combination of all the things, it just kind of blends it all together. And I'm going to put some of the brown on as well, just to put a little more of that. It kind of really adds, blends it all together. Okay, so I'll give that a try. When they're dry, I'll come back and I'll show you what I ended up with. See you in a few. Okay, so I'm back inside and the papers are all dried. And I just kind of wanted to show you the finished results of them. Uh, they might be a little hard to see. Let me see if I can back out just a tiny little bit. So I really like how they turned out. I think they're going to look really good cut up as journaling cards, tags, etc. Or even as journal covers. So here's the big, big sheet which I sprayed with the blues. I put some of the brown fabric dye and some of the pink obviously. But I liked how it it's very misty colored because I held the sprayers quite a ways away. Um, I did end up putting a tiny little bit of the gold shimmer mist on here. And you can really see the gold up in this corner. I don't know if it's sure. I can't see if it's showing up in the camera, but it looks very cool. You can't see, you can see a bit of the shimmer of the other colors, but mostly the gold turned out really really good but the, like say that's two feet by like a foot and a half this one so it's pretty big then there is this one that I sprayed with the blues the the blue over here which stopped working and then I did this side with the turquoise so it really blends all the papers together um, I found and you can really see where I had put the gesso with the sponge. And when I was putting that on, I, w I was 
turning the sponge different ways to kind of get different. I didn't want the pattern to be repeated. I wanted it to be different. So that turned out really good. I'm happy with this other than the little bit of really intense color. But once it's cut up into tags, you're only going to see a piece of that. So it's going to look different when they're cut up. I think I'll do a video on using some of this just to see what it looks like. Here's the pink. Now it is very pink. Um, if I did it again, I would hold the sprayer a little further away. But there again, once it's cut up, I think it will be okay. But you can really, really see the shimmer in that. Hopefully it picks it up on one of these angles while I'm moving it around. But I did use up lots and lots of scrap paper doing this. And I think I'll do up a bunch more just so I can use up some of that rolls of stuff. And I want to use up this Mod Podge. I see there is a couple little areas that I need to just add a touch of glue underneath. And this one, I think this was with the browns and the golds. Over here you can really see the shimmer in it. But it's, I like it. And it's a really nice thickness for tags and journal cards. It's stiff, but not really super thick, so I think it's going to work out pretty nice. And then there is this one. Now this one's kind of folded weird. Um, it was the first one I did, and that paper doesn't unroll. Like, as soon as you cut a piece off, it just rolls right back up, and it won't straighten up. I've tried a few different things. This one I tried to straighten up by kind of folding it the other way, and it kind of made it bend, which it'll unbend once I do stuff with. But I found when it was really curved like that, once I started gluing things on, it flattened out. So... But this one here, lots of gold shimmer on that one. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah, I'm very happy with how these t turned out. And thanks to Joanne for showing and sharing her collaging stuff. And we'll see you in the next video when I'm making stuff with these. See you soon. Bye for now.